Yeah, I like mine. Uh, I wish we had black and green, so I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I would love to have black with green trim for our next color rush. Does that have anything to do with Ninja Turtles, or is that just a, a sweet-looking combination? It's a very good-looking combination. I think black is a really good color, and so uh, I think black with the hint of uh, green would be great. Bobby, Adrian's had some of his worst games of his career against you guys. What's been key in, in, in the games that you guys have faced him and kind of keeping him held in check? I think tackling. Um, you know, I think this is a, a, the style of offense where I think he would – he's excelling really well in because uh, he's a very patient runner, and this is a patient kind of um, run game where it's just crunch and it's just waiting for somebody to pop out of their gap. And, uh, you know, he does a good job in uh, finding it. But, you know, I feel like we've been very, very disciplined when we played him. We understand, you know, the, the problems he, uh, you know, he uh, kind of present when we play him. So, you know, if we stay uh, gap sound, we should be fine. At all that they let him run 37 times last week against Fortnite? No, I'm not surprised. I mean, you know, he's he's uh he's been doing it for a very long time, so why not give him the rock? I actually like it. You know, it's uh, more uh, more place for us linebackers. The uh, Thursday games are. I mean, everybody talks about how hard they are to play. You guys have been really good on Thursday night since since you guys kind of all got tight. What do you think? Why that is, or anything you put your finger on? Why you guys have played so well on a lot of these Thursday nights? I think it's you know. Um, Coach Carroll and, and the training staff and everybody does a really good job of uh, kind of monitoring the schedule, um, you know, not not going as hard. And uh, I think that's kind of kind of what it is. It's, it's really hard to kind of turn around, you know, play Sunday and uh, especially when you have to travel um, to a different city to play. So um, it's a extremely hard schedule, but I feel like our coaches do a good job of, of making us get as healthy as possible. You have to prepare, like, starting last week? Is there something different you have to do physically at all, knowing you got the Sunday-Thursday turnaround and things like that? Or? Um, you know, me personally, I had to, you know, do that. Uh, that's kind of why they were kind of, you know, playing around with me coming out there for the hamstring because of the short short week. Um, but you just got to really be on it. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate it's how the schedule works out. But fortunately, you know, you have a Monday night game. So, um, you know, you just play what they give you. Do you miss that day off, Bobby? You know, just to kind of get away from the game emotionally, mentally. Uh, yeah, you know, you, I think you need a, ga a day off to kind of just get away from, you know, the game, kind of clear your head, and, and it, I think a lot of guys use that day to kind of recover their body. So when you don't have that day, it's kind of hard. You have to, you know, push everything up and try to crunch all the stuff that you would do in a week in in a matter of two days. So we leave tomorrow. So um, you're trying to, you know, get everything that you do during a whole week in two days. You, you always play a divisional team in these. I mean, does that obviously make it a little bit easier that it's not a team you maybe got to start from scratch, figure it out? Yeah, because you're not a – you're not a – you don't have to, um, you know, relearn a new offense, a new – like you've seen this team, you know, a handful of times. we got a lot of film on them. So uh, that's what helps us. Uh, you just kind of – you know, they know us, we know them, and um, it's just who can remember what they did the fastest. But you've got a lot of film with them as – Carson quarterbacking, when you've got Stanton in there, how much does he change what you have to account for? Um, we've actually had, you know, some film with him uh, starting against us too. So um, you kind of go back to that film and see how they try to attack us in that game, see what they did well, um, see some of the things that they, you know, maybe had success on but didn't come back to and maybe they'll try to come back to with this game. Um, but, you know, I think they're going to still try to do their, their offense. They're going to try to get Larry Fitzgerald the ball. They're going to give, you know, AP his touches and trying to spread the ball around. And, and obviously, they're going to try to take some shots down the field. But he's a little bit more mobile than Carson is. Yeah, yeah. but, but we really, we really mobile, too. So, I mean, we kind of fly around, too. So, I don't think his speed is, is anything that we're going to worry about. We talked after the game about addressing the penalties. How do you do that in the defense, defensive rooms or in the huddles? Um, I think personally the penalty situation is more, you know, guys need to take more accountability, um, you know, be a little bit more focused. Um, I think that's kind of how you address it. I think the guys know, um, you know, how to do it. And, you know, we've done it before. So that's that's really all it is. I think, um, you know, we just got to lock in. And, and, you know, that's another little part in the game that, you know, we need to clean up if we want to get where we want to go. Pete was asked the other day about you and, and – 
defensive MVP and such that you, he, he feels like you should be in that conversation right now if people are talking about that. Do you feel like you're playing any better or this is the best year of your, your career so far or anything? Or? Um, I feel like I'm playing really good. Hello, Doug. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm playing well. I'm seeing things, um, you know, a lot clearer. Um, as far as that, you know, you, it's kind of out of your control. You can do whatever you want. Um, you know, they're going to look at you or not. Um, you know, I just try to go out there and, and really put my best foot forward and, you know, hopefully they see it. Um, but, you know, it, it would be nice. Anything else, guys? Well, but you said you played really well and you've seen the, the game. Is there anything else that you you worked on on the off season that's not paying off right now? Um, I worked really hard in uh, recognizing routes and, and coverages, and, and, you know, I think that was kind of where my game needed to improve in seeing the routes a little bit better. Um, you know, getting a little bit more depth in my drop. And I think that's something that I'm improving on. And then, you know, I would love to turn the, um, you know, the QB hits into more sacks. So, you know, I still got to work on that. But, you know, I got my first safety in my, in my life. So I'm doing something right. That's an improvement, right? Yeah, it's, you know, <laughs> not, not good foot forward. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, have a good one.